Hi, Norman Howitt here with your next four minute drill for traders. Let's discuss you and the confidence you have in yourself to be a successful, consistent winning trader. You may be at a point in your trading career where you're just starting out and really still determining whether trading is for you or not. Uh, you may be someone who's been pounding it out as a part-time trader or a full-time trader for a few years and have yet to really meet with any success. You may be in a place where you've had some good success in spots as a trader, but still don't have the confidence to state to the world that I'm a successful trader. Look, wherever you are in your trading career, my message today is for you. The new year is fast approaching and it's time to look back at your past year as a trader and make plans for the next year. I'd like to give you an exercise that I like to do actually on a quarterly basis, but for today, let's think in terms of yearly. Take a sheet of paper and draw two lines down the paper, north and south, so that you have three columns. Now, in the first column, write down all the things that went right about your trading this year. Maybe you found a good trading plan that's been working for you or could be working for you if you were to follow the plan in a disciplined manner. Did you have a good profitable run in the market? Did you have a great month, a great quarter, a great week that you remember? List everything good that happened from top to bottom on the left hand column of the sheet of paper. Really spend time with it. You see, it's important to give yourself credit for what went right this year. Now, right next to each entry, list why it went right for you and why it was important. And do it for each of the things that you listed as going right for the year. In this step, you're giving real meaning to your accomplishments and stating why the good things that happened what it meant to you personally and to your trading. Okay, in the third column, state how you'll be expanding on the good things that happened last year so that they happen even more so next year. So, for example, on my personal sheet, I put in the first column, named one of my trading plans as the primary plan and focusing on high probability setups and that plan really increased my profits. Now in the second column, next to that entry, I put why that was important. And here's what I put. I put, by focusing on my high probability trading plan, I had more winners and exercised the patience to trade less, resulting in lower transactional costs. More winners and less cost of doing business spelled more profit for me. Now, in the third column, the column where I state how I'm going to expand on that good idea next year, I wrote, keep it simple again this year. Review which of the high probability trade setups and exit strategies yielded the best results and identify some super high probability setups to focus on even further next year. Okay, you get the idea. Look, in upcoming four minute drills, we're going to concentrate a lot more on what went right with your trading and embellishing on that part of what you do and linger less on what went wrong. We're going to identify your strengths and look to expand them and de-emphasize your weaknesses. It's just a fast way to trading success. Look, do me a favor, try my little written exercise. You'll finish the experience feeling good about your trading future and good about yourself. And giving yourself credit is always your best first step to overall long-term success. All right, that's it for this four minute drill for traders. So until next week, stay disciplined.